What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're back with some more NCAA 04 with the Kentucky Wildcats. Man, it's been a struggle this season, but we did win last week and hopefully we can improve on that and win versus some SEC teams because we beat Ohio and not Ohio State, just regular Ohio. Eli Manning, how you doing baby? Like I said, I got some people's names in here from back on the 30 years. Remember we used to do through the years? We might be bringing those back. I'm just joking. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you to hold your breath though. Anyways, man, you can see the running back from Troy. He's up there with 16 touchdowns. I saw Sproles right there. I also saw Cedric Benson up in there as well. And then when it comes to receivers, I mean, like my goodness gracious, bro. When you got Big Ben as a quarterback at Miami of Ohio, you're going to get open. He's going to find you the football. 72 receptions, 1,300 yards, and 8 touchdowns for the young man from Miami of Ohio. And then, of course, Washington, they got a good receiver. I believe he gets drafted by the Jaguars. I believe that my uh, 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 prophecy will come true. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the old lineman from Navy. You can't be too big at Navy, I heard. I remember my dad telling me that. that be, like, I believe when they beat Notre Dame, back when Notre Dame was struggling, like 07, 08, around then, he was like, Navy's offensive lineman can't be bigger than like 250 pounds or something like that. It might have been an exaggeration, but they can't be too big because they're still, you know, under the Navy umbrella of what that means, right? Am I right? I could be wrong. He could be wrong. I love you, Dad. Anyways, though, man, Mississippi State taking on Kentucky. They come in at 5-2, and two, ranked number 39 in the nation. They are 2-1 and one in conference play. 1-1-6, one, one and six, ranked 103 and 0-3 oh in conference play. We have three more conference games, including this one. Can we get a win? I hope we can. I, I really hope that we can do that. Or is it four more? I'm not quite sure how many more conference games we have, but we got to win. We got to win. And right now, our defense is playing ferocious. They got the eye of the Wildcat. They're going to fire that thing deep as caught. Talk about getting moss. Pick up your pride, put it back in your pocket, cornerback. But it was holding on to play. So they're backed up even more. And they needed to have a play to get them from here to Wyoming. And it just didn't work out. So we're going to run that football little draw play. The draws, what I found, is the only thing that really works in this game on Heisman difficulty. And we're not going to lower the difficulty. You're just going to have to bear with me, please. Don't leave me. I need you. I am nothing without you as we go basically three. And now, got to set up for a field goal, and that has me not trusting the kicking game at all. I could have hit it better, but I'm like, my goodness gracious, though, bro. Like, that wasn't even close. So Mississippi State takes back over. That pass was put on a frozen rope, and that's going to be a first down. We got everybody in the mama in the box to stop the run, and we stopped the run. The Kentucky defense out there having some fun. And then we forced a fumble. Number one is an absolute beast, bro. He's only a junior, thank the Lord, because my goodness gracious, where would our defense be without him? We're going to throw it to our halfback. We probably got to do that a little bit more because our halfbacks are somewhat talented, but we just got to get them the ball in space because our formation, even like 12 personnel, 11 personnel, is just not going to work. It's just not. We're going to throw that thing underneath. That pass is caught. Third down and five. We're looking underneath again. That pass is caught, and that's a first down, and I have not done a good job of moving number 12 around. There is no packages in this game which makes things harder, but I just can't be a lazy someone, so I gotta go into the formation subs and put them in the slot at times, because the slots, they get open in this game more than the outside guys, and he's such an animal, I gotta give him the football. It might be too late for the season as we throw another pick. Okay, 49, he bamboozled me. He was outside, he came back inside, and then as soon as I snapped the ball, he went back to the outside and I threw a pick. The mascot can't believe it. Nobody is happy in the crowd unless they're wearing Mississippi State colors. They're going to run the ball with the big fullback. Get the fullback involved unless you're at Kentucky. We would not be recruiting fullbacks. We might not even be recruiting tight ends at this moment in time. Defense looking good, though. We get another stop right there, but unfortunately, they are in field goal range. The kick is up. And the kick is going to be good. So first down and 10 as we take over. Jared Lorenzen's pass is caught, and that's going to be a first down. I love it. You love it. First down, 10 yards to go. Going to spread things out five wide. We're going to find a receiver in the slot. Absolutely cooking. Cooking, I tell you. Going to find another receiver. Where was he lined up? In the slot. Makes another catch. Third down and four. Jared Lorenzen, hefty lefty, he's like, let me get this girth upfield, and he does just that. Move those chains, baby. We are dominating. We have six first downs to their one. We just can't score. 
It's frustrating to say the least, but this game was like Bimba don't break on defense for the computer. And that's exactly what they're doing. Find number 12 again, another first down. Third and four. Looking downfield as Lorenzen throws it. That pass is caught, and that's a chain mover. But it's third down and goal, and I'm like, we got to go to the end zone, and maybe we shouldn't have thrown the ball in the triple coverage, though. Maybe we shouldn't have done that, and that's going to take us to the second half and play down by three. So we do get the football first, which is a good look. We're going to hit this draw right up the gut. No, we're going to bounce it in this running room, and we're going to pick up a gain of eight. Second down and two for number 22. Gets the ball to 25, and we're feeling fine with the first down in our back pocket. We're going to spread things out again. Lorenzen looking downfield, throws it. That pass is caught, and again, the ground game is picking up a nice chunk of yards when we go with the draw play. Not on that play, though. The passing game isn't that explosive, though, because they're dropping everybody back. So everything underneath is working. But when we get to the red zone, it just clogs everything up. Second down and 10. Lorenzen looking downfield. That pass is caught. Turn the corner, big fella. And we're up to the 40-yard line in Mississippi State territory. All right, second down and eight now. Lorenzo throws that thing. That pass caught by the backup running back. Again, I got to use my formation subs, get all the talented guys on the field. Shame on me for basically wasting this season. Fourth and six now. Going to go for it because I don't trust my kicking skills, and I shouldn't trust my passing skills. That read was absolutely dreadful. We're going to send the blitz, not get to the quarterback. That leaves their man open, and that's a first down move, those chains. First down and 10. They, go, they fake the run. They throw it. That pass is caught, and they're just shy of a first down. So second down and inches, they got the big boys. It's, what, 23 personnel, two backs, three tight ends, and they're loose, and they're gone. Look like that might have been a block in the back by the fullback, but they're not going to throw the hanky, and we find ourselves down by 10. We're still in this ball game. We just got to execute. That's a nice play right there, and that's going to be a first down. Lorenzen looking downfield. That pass will be caught, and that will also be a chain mover. Move those chains. Third down, seven yards ago, play fake. Lorenzen under some pressure. Yeah, that's not what we want to do. Not what we want to do. I believe this is fourth down. Fourth down. We're looking. We're throwing, and X probably would have had an easier time making the catch. But they were both somewhat open. I expect my guys to make the catch. As hard as I'm trying to find the guys that are open and make the right read, I need my boys out there to catch the football. And we're just not doing it on a consistent basis. First down, 10 yards to go from Mississippi State. Going to fire that thing, and that pass will fall incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Looking downfield, throwing that thing downfield, and that pass is a little bit overthrown. So third down and 10. Can we get a pass rush? No, they throw it. It's caught, and they're going to say it wasn't a first down. I thought it was a first down when I first looked at it, but they're going to say no. You're short by two yards, six feet. Yes, under. Now, that kick is up, and it is good, and we find ourselves down by three. I mean 13, excuse me. They add three. We're down by 13. We are still in this ball game. Just don't mess it up. First down and 10. We messed it up. I thought he was going to cross his face. He went behind the cornerback. I threw it with the anticipation of him crossing his face. It didn't happen, and that's what you call an interception. And then one flick of the wrist are inside the five. They're going to run the ball. And look at, like, like, we are trying. We are trying. We just can't tackle him, and that's going to be a touchdown. What can we do here? The game is basically out of hand. We're down by three scores. We have to score quickly. And we're going to fight for every yard that we can get. Send them third down and two. Quick out. And I put 12 in the slot, and then our linebacker shuts him down. Like, what is going on? Big JL, Jared, gets loose. And that's going to be a first down. 3.15 on the clock. Got to score three touchdowns. We got to hurry this up. We fake the run. We throw it. Look at the speed on 12. He just can't get behind when they have safety help. So give him the ball in the slot. Give him short yardage, and then turn it into something good, and then turn it into something bad. Why don't you? And you know the BBQ, the big, beautiful quarterback, is not going to catch him. That's just not going to happen. So we're down 27 to nothing now. Let's get some practice in. That's a good read. Maybe we need to add that play to the playbook more consistently. Second down to five. Draw play. And look, hey, first down. Using the run. I love it. Gain of around seven. Second down to five. Give it to number five. Another nice game. Gain of around eight in the first down. Fourth and five. 47 seconds on the clock. We're going to find number four, our fourth, no, our fifth receiver. 
but he's making plays for us, so I can't be too mad. And then we go with 12 personnel out there, and it works out. So maybe we shouldn't give up on having two tight ends out there. We just got to look at that. The tight end making a catch right there. It's, hey, hey, we are balling. We are balling. Can we score a touchdown? Nope, can't do it. Can we kick a field goal? To save face. Not going to do that neither. We're going to go for it. Third and goal, one second on the clock. And we get sacked. And that's going to do it, man. So a rough day in the office. But Mississippi State's having a pretty good year, man. They are 6-2 and two right now. Uh, one of the top, what, top 50 teams in college football right now. So at the end of the day, man, the SEC is hard. Jay Lorenzen was what was that guy when he was at Kentucky he was that guy but it's still Kentucky football the hell every once in a while they're gonna have a year where they look good but again it's still Kentucky football so we are going to build this team up it's just gonna take some time baby it's gonna take some time so I hope you guys are down for the ride hope you guys enjoyed the video I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day and until we meet again my friends peace love hot sauce